Well, hello and welcome to more Chester Thoughts with Chester. Hello, it's me, Chester. And we're going to talk about some Persona 5 stuff. Well, not Persona 5, but Persona 4 and 3 and all that type of stuff that's linked to Persona 5 R because I, like most people at the moment, have been playing through Persona 5 R and I've recently been attempting to do some of the boss fights with the Persona 3 and 4 uh, protagonists. Now, I don't think this is a spoiler as there were trailers showing this and all that type of stuff, but... <laughs> but so I've been trying to do some of that and they're they're a bit tough because I'm a bit under ranked for all that so I just need to level up a bit more but it got me thinking about the possibilities of a Persona 3 and 4 remaster remake that type of thing which has been discussed in the past and there was all this you know information going around about a year ago where people thought it was definitely going to happen there came out that the magazine that the information came from was like mistranslated and all that type of stuff so we haven't really discuss that in a while on this channel at least um, so I want to talk about that um, I, I, I get I see a lot of stuff on reddit about this whenever I you know, find discussion boards about the possibility of a per persona remakes and all that type of stuff and I want to come out first by saying that I'm not overly interested in the idea of a p3 remake for the simple reason that I don't like persona 3 that much really like at all um, uh, I, I haven't put as much time into it as the other ones. Uh, I haven't finished it, per se, um, but I've gotten like three quarters of the way through it type of thing, but I haven't finished it, and that might be a reason why I haven't enjoyed it, but it's just I never clicked with any of the characters. The story, while interesting, uh, it never clicked with me, and there were elements that I really liked, like the um, your personal character's status, the amount of times like you go into... The amount of times that you you know you go into proper gameplay and all that type of stuff, how that wears down your how your character is feeling and all that type of stuff. So if you go too many times, you can become unwell and all that type of stuff. And how you can you know you have to then spend time out doing stuff with people to start to feel better and going to bed at the proper times. I really liked that. I really liked that element and that mechanic. But it of course, wasn't used in any of the other Persona games, which I was quite sad about. I really liked that mechanic, but yeah, other than that. P3, I'm not a big fan, uh, which I'll probably go into more reasons why at a later date. Maybe when I do the uh, Persona 5 uh, review, I might do a bit of a retrospective on some of the other games, but who knows? I'm not too interested in a P3 remake. I'm only really interested in a Persona 4 Golden type of little update and then bring it to the PlayStation 4 PS Store. That's basically the only one I really have any interest in because I don't really want a remake of Persona 4 for the simple reason that we kind of got that with P4 Golden. All I really want is to be able to play P4 Golden on TV with controller without having to buy a PlayStation TV and all that type of stuff because I... <laughs> I'm not giving place. I'm not giving P4 more of my money <laughs> to play it. Just, just let me play it on PlayStation 4, please and thank you. Um, that's basically the only one I'm really interested in because for the simple reason that I'm way more interested in new games or sequels over remakes. I would so much prefer a, P a P4 sequel over a remake. That's that's just that's just me. Um, and I prefer Persona 6 over a P3 remake type of thing. The idea of a Persona 1 and Persona 2, both parts, would be interesting, but the amount of work that would take to bring those to a modern audience you basically have to build them like you're building a complete new game more or less with the persona 4 and persona 5 elements and that type of stuff you're making a new game but with those old stories uh and at that point and that amount of work i would just prefer them to make persona 6 rather than doing that as most fans aren't interested in those titles as is but also fans of persona 1 and persona 2 they are fans for the, of those games for very different reasons than why newer fans like Persona 4 and Persona 5. So a remake would most likely make the titles much more similar to modern titles, which would mean those games would be much more of an involved part of the franchise. Because for most fans, like myself, Persona really starts at 3. And that's the way I kind of consider it, and that's the way I think about it, and the way a lot of people do. Just because I have no interest in the Shin Megami Tensei series or anything like that. But the problem is the fans of P1, P4, uh, P1 and P2 like those games for how similar they are to Shin Megami Tensei and for, for the ways those games are, not for the, how similar they are to uh, P3, P4 and P5. They like them for the fact that they are 
Persona 1, Persona 2, all that type of stuff. They like them for very different reasons to modern fans. So a modern remake, which would definitely update it to being very similar to Persona 5, would probably piss off those fans quite a bit because it's taking away the stuff they like about it. And a lot of people who really like Persona 1, Persona 2, like them for the reason that they don't like how popular the series is now. So an update of those games to make them more like the series now would also probably really annoy those fans as well because an updated or a remake would definitely make it more like the newer titles. That's just how they would do it. So yeah, I'm not interested in a remake of Persona games as they're still very available as well. Uh, Persona 3 Fez is available on the PlayStation 3 store. Uh, Persona 4 Golden is on the PS uh, Vita. You can emulate them. Uh, the older titles are on the PSP, I believe. They are still very playable and enjoyable and available. I wouldn't say no to a remake. I'd really enjoy it, but I'd personally prefer new experiences. Maybe later in next generation of consoles, some remakes would be more earned as the games would definitely be becoming harder to get your hands on at that point. But I feel like at the moment, I would still prefer Persona 6 or Persona 4 or 2 type of thing. Stuff like that. I prefer new experiences over remakes but i know people are quite different about that a lot of people are very focused on a persona 3 remake which i can understand as that was an introduction for a lot of people to the series so a lot of people have a lot of nostalgia for that but i'm not too keen on it but yeah so those are my thoughts on a persona remake happening all that type of stuff because the the protagonists being in the new game shows that you know Atlas is at least considering the idea of all that type of stuff. And they've talked about it before about uh, thinking about doing remakes and that type of stuff. And I, of course, I wouldn't be against it. I'd enjoy it. I'd buy it. I'd play hundreds of hours of it. But I would, yeah, again, as I've said, I would prefer a new game. Anyway, thank you very so much for watching. Let me know in the description. Description? I do that every time. In the comments down below, uh, are you interested in a Persona remake? And which ones would it be? And why would it be that one? Is it the original two? Is it Persona 3? Persona 4? Anything like that? Let me know in the comments down below. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.